Yeah, one, one of the proudest moments of my life. A big honour to be here on behalf of the Cowdery family picking up a hundred tests cap for my grandfather, uh, which will be hopefully going on my mantelpiece. I'll offer it to my dad, but I'll tell him it was just a tie, just so I can have it on my, my mantelpiece. My grandfather as well, just but, so um, you know. But I... <laughs> for our grandfather, sorry. It was one of the biggest honours and we're very proud. And you've both got, obviously, you've got the same grandfather, as you've mentioned there, um, a very famous one in uh, cricketing circles. What was it like growing up with the, the aura of the great Colin Cowdery? Do you know, it's, it's mentioned a lot. Uh, even, I, I didn't go through the Kent circuit like Fame did professionally, but, um, but even, even now it's always mentioned when we play cricket. And uh, we, he, he died when we were seven, so we didn't really see, a lot, see much of him. But I remember, you know, playing in the garden, playing a bit of cricket with him, and it was pretty special. So. Yeah, I had a net with him, one of my first nets, and he watched my first cricket match when I was six. Uh, yeah, just an incredible man. Everyone we speak to has great things to say about him. It was just sad that he passed when we were seven, but uh, such an honour to, as I said, be here for him today. And however nice it was seeing Fame pick it up, it would have been lovely to see him still standing there, you know? So. It was indeed a special moment. Um, Julius, I'd like to ask you a little bit about your cricketing prowess and Fabian maybe you could add a word or two right, but I don't know why you're asking me <laughs> <laughs> you, you've gone down the musical route and you're also in, made in Chelsea as well but growing up was I mean cricket must have been in the family cricket was in the family like um, I mean even now when I walk out for a, for a club side I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit of stick for and pressure for being for being grandson son, son of but, uh, but uh, you know for me I, I, I started to love watching Fabian playing more than playing myself, so that's why that's that's why I kind of didn't want to do it so much, and and the music and, and on the show as well, and um, I'm doing a bit of that, so it's it's always enjoyable. So yeah, I mean, the Colin Cowdery stand exists at Canterbury, so <laughs> I remember my first game walking out. It was a tourist game against New Zealand, so Brendan McCullum led his men out, and I walked out with my name on my back, and behind me was my grandfather stand, and then. The Cheeseman Pavilion, which is actually my great grandfather's stand, so it was a little bit of uh, it was oh, a little bit daunting, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit daunting. But um, no, it's a, it's an enormous privilege to be part of of the family, and today topped it for us. Very special, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, Julius, who, who in Made in Chelsea is any good at cricket? Not many. Not many. No, Jamie can hold a bat, uh, but other than that, not many. <laughs> we had a cricket day, and. Uh, and I, th I think I might have got them all out, but, uh, but it was uh, it was it was goodness a, me, they can't have been great. They can't have been good then, can they? <laughs> but I'm getting them out. No, um, no, they're, yeah, no, they're not many. But uh, it's uh, a lot of uh, filming, a lot at the moment, and it's, and it's good fun, and uh, it's it's all for exposure for my music. So, uh, which I've got a single coming out in October, so which is quite exciting. So, absolutely. And just in terms of coming to Lords, uh, we're here today. We, we talked a lot about Canterbury. Yes. Um, what's it like coming to this ground? It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, people harp on about it being the home of cricket. It is. It's fantastic. People speak about the Adelaide Oval. I speak to Brian Lara. He said that was his in his top two grounds. But he said there's no place like Lords. Um, and no you know, like you, yeah. And even the way the crowd get connected with this place. I was fortunate to play in a few 2020s in front of packed crowds here, and it just it, you feel like you're part of history every time you step onto the ground, whether you're as a spectator or as a player. There is something really, I mean, I've, I watch a lot of Kent games and a lot of Kent games because I went to see favourite, but then when you come here and you watch an England game, it's just intense, isn't it? It's a, you, you feel it's, it's something different about it. So Yeah, so euphoric it's, would be the word. It's special being here and, um, and it's a great day. Do you think it's a bit more than just any old sports match? You know, there's much more the sort of the venue side of it, um, the champagne, the tea. The pimps. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm doing a bit of marketing here. No. <laughs> but Pims is great. It's uh, it's fantastic. It's sort of like a Wimbledon event, isn't it? It's uh, and it, I love the social side of cricket. Uh, everyone gets involved. Uh, you know, it's great to talk to people who've been in the game. Very fortunate in the box to have some old Test cricketers in the box who played 100 Tests and picking their brains. It's it's fantastic. And there seems to be this cricket family. Whether you come to watch games or you don't, everyone's approachable. Uh, and yeah, as I said, you can pick anyone's brain. And just a final one, um, it's quite a tricky one for you to answer because obviously your grandfather passed when you were seven, but um, y your father might know. What, who in this England side would Colin Cowdery have enjoyed watching? Oh, God, if I don't say Joe Root now, then I'm in trouble, aren't I? But, um, God, it's, it's a difficult one. I think he always said that the bowlers who seemed it off the pitch, apparently, I mean, I was too young to know what that meant at seven, but Dad said that the bowlers who hit the pitch and seemed it around, like Toby Roland jones would have perhaps caused him a few more problems than perhaps a swinging ball. So he said he may have survived longer against Jimmy than someone like Broad. I think, like, I think he would have liked to root. I think he's quite a similar player to root. I think if, if I think they they both very very yeah. you know traditional players. So yeah. But hey, thank you. Thanks cool. for having us, gents. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. Go ahead.